Hello everyone. Recently I had someone ask me if it was possible to transfer your music from your computer to your Amazon Kindle Fire, and the answer is yes. In this case we're going to be dealing with the first generation Kindle Fire on a Windows 7 laptop. Now one thing I should tell you up front is that Amazon, for whatever reason, did not include a USB cable for the Kindle Fire out of the box. So if you do not have one that will work, that will connect to the base of the Kindle Fire and then to your computer, you're going to want to go down to your local electronics store and grab one. Now if you're not comfortable doing this sort of thing on your own, I recommend either taking your Kindle Fire with you or even your wall adapter. Either way, you should be able to show that to the sales associate and they should be able to identify the correct cable and send you on your way. Now once you get back home, you obviously want to connect your USB cable to both your Kindle Fire and to your computer. You want to be careful when you do that so that you don't force anything. You want to make sure that the connections are orientated correctly and they should go in there with minimal effort if you have everything as it should be. I should point out also that if this is the first time you're connecting your Kindle Fire, you may see a box come up down here in the lower right hand corner that says Windows is detecting drivers for your device and that's normal if it's the first time you've connected it. Also bear in mind that the box may tell you that Windows was unable to find all of the drivers for your device. If you come across that, don't worry either. It comes from the fact that there's not a real driver for the Kindle Fire out there on the market. In any case, you should be able to continue through this tutorial without a problem. Once Windows has detected the device drivers, you should see an autoplay box come up like so, and it'll be a dead giveaway that it's detecting your Kindle by the word Kindle here. The drive letter could be different, but Kindle is what you're looking for. If you don't get this box to come up, there are a couple things to check. Number one, make sure your Kindle is powered on. You definitely need it powered on. If it's powered on and you still don't get it, make sure that you're not on the lock screen. If you are, unlock the Kindle and see if you can get that box to come up. The other thing you might try is to pull down on the Kindle menu in the top left. Once you do that, you'll see under ongoing USB is connected. Tap there and then in short order you should see the box come up. Once the box comes up you can click open folder to view files. This will bring up the file structure inside the Kindle Fire and you'll see several different folders here. I'll point out a couple. One of course is your pictures folder. You could move pictures onto your Kindle Fire using a similar process as shown here. You could also move videos over, you could move documents over, but in this particular case we're interested in music. So I'm going to open my music folder on the Kindle Fire and I've already got some music on here. But say I wanted to add additional music. What I'm going to do is go to my music folder on my computer open that up and I've got my music organized in such a way that you see artists here underneath the artists are the different albums underneath the albums are the particular songs we're gonna drag this over to the right hand side and we're gonna drag our Kindle folder over here to the left hand side so that we get a sort of a split screen effect and you'll see why in a moment Say, for example, I wanted to add, let's see, Adele to my Amazon Kindle Fire. I'd click on the Adele folder, click, drag, and drop. And it's going to copy it to my Kindle Fire. Depending on how many files you have inside that folder, it could take a little time, but it's going to go ahead and copy those and in this case it's going to copy all of the different albums that I have by Adele.
Now, if you have a particular artist that you want to move to your Kindle Fire, but you don't want to move every album by that artist, you could say, drill down to the Aerosmith folder and bring over the Greatest Hits album by a similar process. Click, drag, and drop. Or, if you wanted to bring over a single song, I know under the ACDC folder here, I've got Thunderstruck. I could click, drag, and drop a single song. So you can go ahead and repeat that process with every bit of music you'd like to move to your Kindle Fire. And once you're done, you can go ahead and click the Disconnect button on the bottom of your Kindle Fire on the You Can Now Transfer files from your computer to Kindle screen. Once you do that, you'll see the Kindle window disappear and your Kindle is now disconnected from your computer and at that point you can go ahead and remove the USB cord and then you can drill down through your music on your Kindle Fire and you can make sure that the files you moved over are in fact on your Kindle. One thing that I will mention here is that the Kindle accepts two types of music files. It can play two types of music files. One of course is the mp3 file. Most of us are familiar with that one. The other type of music file that it will play is the m4a file. Now you can also convert files that aren't in the specified formats by using software to do that. That really is beyond the scope of this tutorial, but if anybody would like me to put up a tutorial to that effect, I'd be glad to do so if they would just show some interest. But that's the basic process of moving music files to your Kindle Fire. Hopefully you learned a little something, you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.